Hey kitties, welcome back. So we are going to be doing a short tutorial just showing you my high-end palettes. I don't have a lot of um, high-end palettes. I um, just got into makeup a couple years ago or whatnot. Like I've been into it for a few years, but I really started getting into it a couple years ago. But I don't have a lot of high-end palettes, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I do have that you have already seen on my channel. So yes, if you're interested in seeing my high-end palettes, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, this hair is hot. I went outside and I took some pictures outside and I'm hot and the wig is hot and I'm ready to take it off. So I am bulk filming. So if y'all have not seen the previous videos to see why some of the hair is straight and why some of them are curled, then just go back to the previous videos and go watch them and then you'll know why they look like that, okay? So I'm like, watch some of her hair curl. Some of it's not, listen, listen, listen. Go watch it, don't. All right, all right, let's start off with the face palette first because I don't, this is, this is not an eyeshadow palette, but it's a face palette and you can use it as eyeshadow palette, which I have done that before. So I have here the Sephora Pro, y'all. This is my baby. This is my baby. This is the Sephora Pro um, face palette. It's in the shade Deep. I'm not sure if they have this. I know at one point in time they took it off, but I think they restocked in certain shades. But this is her. Y'all, I love this face palette. Like, if you are on the go and you need everything, pr pretty much, you need a bronzer, you need a contour, you need a highlight, and you need a blush, and you need an eyeshadow palette, just take this palette. Like, it's so convenient. Um, it's, it's pretty huge. It's, it's pretty massive, but you get a lot of product, and I believe this retailed for, like, $58 when I bought it. So I don't know the price now, but I will try to have everything I'm telling you linked down below. I'm not sure you can get everything still, I'm not sure. But I know it's for sure this was off, but they might've put it back on, but I think I saw it in different shades. And I wanna say my favorite shade, honestly, it would probably be this shade here. I believe it's Queen, am I right? Yep, it is Queen, and then this is Jet Setter. So I use this as my bronzer, and I use this as my highlighter. I just love this Queen shade as a highlighter. Like, yes, it's bright. Yes, it's pinky, but I use it more than I would grab for the LA color up here, but the LA color I mostly use as like an inner corner um, highlight. All right, this was my first Huda Beauty palette that I purchased. Um, this is the um, Caramel. Do y'all say Caramel or Caramel? Caramel or Caramel? Either way, Caramel, okay? Caramel Beauty, I mean Caramel Brown palette, Huda Beauty what is Karma Brown Obsessions palette. And this is what she looks like. It's mostly like these orangey tones or whatnot. Really gorgeous. I, when I first used this palette, it was really, really pretty. It's a really on the go palette if you really don't want to take um, a huge palette or the ones I'm about to show now. If you don't want to take something huge, just take this. You can easily use this as a transition shade, this as a transition shade, this on the inner corner, pop one of these on the inner corner, in the inner um, highlight, and you're good to go. Um, so, and it has a mirror, so if you need it, it has a mirror to go. Small little palette, cute. The, I think this retailed, if I'm not correct, this was like $27 or $29. Now, I don't know how much it is now, y'all, because I did not go and check. But if you're looking for a small palette, nice and pigmented, you can grab this right here. Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette is remastered, so I'm assuming they redid the shades and the quality or formula, whatever. But this palette, y'all, oh, it has a little cover in there as well. But y'all, Shorty know what she's doing when it comes to pigment. She has a nice color story with everything she does, but y'all, this palette and that black, This palette is gorgeous. If you are looking for a nice palette that has good, good shimmers in them, I highly recommend this Huda Beauty Remastered Palette on um, Rose Gold Palette, y'all. Listen, it is gorgeous. Let me swatch a few of them for you. Like, oh my goodness. You see that? And they're so creamy. I can't wait to dip into the rest of these shades. This middle roll, I haven't played in this middle roll, but y'all, this palette is 
bomb, maybe by angle it, you can really see, but I highly recommend this palette. Like I said, there's probably plenty of other palettes out there that you can use, but these are the ones that I've tried and I was not about to sit here and spend that much money on eyeshadow palettes because I do have a lot of affordable eyeshadow palettes that work. So that's why I don't have a lot of high-end palettes because the affordable one works just as good. So highly recommend this palette. Get your hands on it. It's still out, it's still out on Sephora. I think majority of these stuff you can get on Sephora. That's who carries it. I don't think Ulta carries for the beauty or um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm not really sure. I don't think so. Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Listen, y'all. They need to be promoting this palette all the time. They need to be promoting this palette because this, and you know, too much mouth. She talks about this palette and how they should be promoting this more than those other naked palettes that really aren't that great from what I've seen, you know. This is their best product to come for them. You know, people love the, um, the, the all-nighter spray that's that's a good product too that and this I don't have a lot of their products but this and the spray is what I do have from them and it's really really good y'all this palette my favorite shades I don't you probably can't see the dent that I have in it but it is riff and it is punk and it is double life those are the main three shades that I use this palette and it has a mirror on it as well so if you're wondering it has a mirror but y'all, this palette is bomb. It has everything you need. You have your neutrals, you have your color. It's a lot of shimmers in this palette. So it, it, you got a lot of shimmers in here, but they're pretty. Let me try swatching a couple of them for you. All right. Oops. Tell me that ain't gorgeous. Highly recommend this palette. Get like, I'm only gonna buy the stuff that I know works really good, that I've seen in tutorials, and, and I can tell you that, yo, they are good. So I highly, highly recommend getting this palette. Get this palette, because it's bomb. It's cute, okay, just get it, just, it's just cute. If you don't have this palette, if you don't have it, you just, you ain't, you ain't, you just clock out, just clock out, you, you, you just, of course. Now, this is no longer available. Now, this is um, Jackie Ina collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all, look at this palette. She is a businesswoman. She knows what she's doing when it comes to detail. So, here is her palette. Beautiful, beautiful shades, you guys. So this is Jackie Ina's palette, and it is cute. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I didn't say how much the Urban Decay was, I don't remember. I wanna say $49, and I wanna say Jackie Ina when it was with Anastasia, I wanna say this was 45 then, but like I said, they don't have it anymore. Y'all, let me have to get out this way, cause I'm hot. Whew. Let me swatch some of the shades for you guys. Um, I. What I was gonna say is that, y'all, when I take this palette, if I take this palette out mostly is when I'm going somewhere. I only pull her out mostly when I'm going somewhere. Matter of fact, that's almost the same thing with the Urban Decay. If I pull that palette and this palette, it's because I'm going somewhere and I'm going somewhere that I need to be real cute and real sexy or whatever the case may be. So this is when these two palettes really truly comes out and honestly, the Huda Beauty would be another one I pull out for when I'm really going to do something. You know, the other palettes, if I'm running around town and I'm just running little errands, I'll throw those on the eyes or whatever the case may be. But her, she not coming out unless I'm going somewhere. So let me swatch a couple shades for you. I'm mostly doing the shimmers. I know I could do the matte shades, but I'm just showing you if the shimmers, I just want to show you all the shimmers, okay? All right. Oops, dropped it. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. So gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's just the hard part is always trying to get them off my, my hand when I be trying to do this. But either way, 
So that is it, you guys. That is all my high-end palettes. Like I said, I don't have a lot because I have more of the affordable ones that work just as good. Those are my high-end palettes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss any more uploads from me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.